Hey guys, hope you're ready for this clip. It's certainly interesting. This is Nigel Farage on Good Morning Britain with Piers and Susanna earlier this morning. They were questioning him about Trump's handling of the pandemic, particularly the scandal surrounding Trump apparently suggesting people inject themselves with disinfectant. Now, in an earlier interview, Nigel Farage said, well, that never happened. So they decided to play him the clip of Trump apparently saying people should do it. And this is how he responded. Use disinfectant bleach. This is what he said. It's interesting. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets in the lungs and it does a tremendous number of lungs. So it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical. Doctor. Sorry, Nigel. Have I, have I made that up? Yes. Okay. We just right. saw the clip. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. If you think sorry, honestly, you are you are you are sinking to the gutter by talking about bleach. You know you are. So Donald you Trump back. was talking about bleach. Oh, we just heard it's him. Just wrong. We just heard him, Nigel. I did not hear anyone mention bleach. I this did disinfectant hear. is bleach. You realise that, dear? No, you could talk about acids in all sorts of different contexts this too, if you wanted to. Is it's bleach. That's what Stop you're talking about. talking utter rubbish. As they continue to get more heated, let's look into this, shall we? Is there a difference between bleach and disinfectant? Here's some scenes with bleach, thick bleach. Here are some scenes with disinfectant. Is there a difference? Well, it seems to be down to the warnings on the back. This has one warning sign on the back. This has two warning signs on the back. The disinfectant says that it can cause serious eye irritation, keep out of the reach of children. The bleach says, and there are more warnings than this, but I'm just giving you the basics, the bleach says, keep out of the reach of children, may be corrosive to metals, <laughs> can cause serious skin harm and eye damage. So the bleach does sound a bit more serious than the disinfectant. Okay, let's play it again. I test that too. Sounds interesting. Right, and then I see the disinfectant where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that? Uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning because you see it gets in the lungs and it what am i missing nigel he didn't use the word bleach he talked about the possibility of injecting something that could neutralize the virus it's interestingly it's bleak. interesting interestingly i had several scientists say to me that it was perhaps a viable proposition but because people like you chose to use the term bleach disinfectant is bleach bleak. nigel no peers he did not use the word okay, bleach. Can I draw you your attention? Can I draw that your is, attention? Is, Harvard's, Harvard's, you Harvard's toxicology you Twitter account you felt the need to issue medical advice online following that statement, saying, you please realize. don't inject bleach or drink disinfectant. You know, we are talking about who is about to become the leader of the Western world, and you want this to degenerate into some ludicrous headline in a tabloid newspaper. No. Surely no. there are bigger and more important things to talk about no, than Nigel, that. I would have thought. Maybe, not, maybe yeah. the audience don't care yeah. about me. Yeah. Maybe they don't care about future trade deals in the UK. Maybe you're right. Maybe you're right we should trivialise the whole thing. I don't know. I don't think the President of the United States standing at that podium encouraging people to think that they should inject themselves with disinfectant stroke bleach is a good thing in the middle of a global it, pandemic. It, it, this wouldn't be fun if we didn't do a little experiment, would it? Now, Trump didn't say drink bleach, but he did say disinfectant. So, here's a cup of the disinfectant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's give it a whirl and see what happens. You know, I've got nothing to lose except my life. I think it's actually a reckless dereliction of his duty. This is absolutely baloney. What is baloney? I've just heard it twice. He didn't invite. He didn't use the word bleach, and you damn well know that. And number two, what do you think he didn't bleach is? Do you know what bleach is? Suggests people to self-administer, and frankly, I'm not surprised your viewers are going down if you're trivialising. Your viewers really are going up. Going up. <laughs> We're your record <laughs> viewers right now. Political That's moment. fake news, Nigel Farage. That was fake the news. The of the Western world is being voted for, and you are trivial. What about? I tell you what. What about Hunter Biden's son? and the money he made for the Ukraine and Russia. Should we talk about that, or, or doesn't that matter? No, I've just talked to you about COVID-19, and you assured me 
that I was spewing fake news when I said the President of the United States has suggested yes, using bleach to get rid yes, of COVID-19. I, I, I then played you I then played you the tape twice yes, of him saying right. exactly that, and you're still denying he said it. I have to say, this is the lowest grade interview I've ever taken part in in 20 years. We are talking about major, major global issues, and all you can do is trivialise it. It's a pretty poor show. Okay, but just to clarify one more time, you are insistent the President never said use disinfectant or bleach to inject into the body to cure coronavirus. He never said it. I'm absolutely certain, despite the fact you denied it live on air, I'm absolutely certain he didn't use the word bleach. Yes, of that I really it's, am certain. Is bleach a disinfectant? Do you know what? I've got better things to do than this. This is utterly ludicrous. Is it a disinfectant, it really... Nigel, or not? Piers, uh, go on, play your silly games. What games? Let the rest what worry games? about who the next leader of the Western world is going to be, what it means for the United Kingdom, what it means for world peace, mm -hmm. what it means for America. This is what really matters. Um, um, why are you all there? Have a chat about Hunter Biden, because that's quite important. I've too. written several columns about Hunter Biden, as you may know. Uh, yes, I know you have, but, but, yeah. but and, yet, and yet you're going back to an off-the-cuff comment that was made a few months ago. About the coronavirus, the yeah, biggest issue you, facing the world right now. The president suggesting you use disinfectant to do we cure coronavirus down? was a, do we a moment down? of total insanity. Do we Actually. lock down or don't we? Yeah, can you just send an ambulance quickly, please, because my... Um, my brain is feasing, feasing fuzzy. My brain is feeling fuzzy and, and, and starting to hurt. Yeah.